Hello children, how are you? I hope you are fine. Yes, last day we discussed the poem My Magic Wand. Yes, what's the title of the poem? Yes, My Magic Wand. It's a poem about a girl who is a magician. It's a poem about a girl who is a magician. Yes, she used a tame to uh, perform magic. What is the tame? Yes. Very good. The abracadabra. The abracadabra is a tame, magical tame that is used by the girl to perform magic. Yes. Then she wanted to make, uh, she wanted to perform certain magics. What was the first magic? Yes. She wanted to make a bear into a pear. Then the rabbit gets a swollen nose. Yes. Then uh, she wanted to make the fearful lion to uh, sing a rhyme. Yes. Then she wanted to make all the animals disappear from the zoo. She wanted to make all the animals free from the zoo. Yes. This is a summary of the poem. And today we are going to discuss uh, some exercises related to this poem. Yes. First one, vocabulary junction. Next is phonics junction. Today we are going to discuss these uh, sessions, vocabulary junction and the phonics junction. Okay. All of you please take page number 154. Vocabulary junction. Look at the screen. Yes. Read this line from the poem. Can you read this line? Okay. Abracadabra when I say. Yes. This is the first line from the poem. My magic one. Abracadabra when I say. And look at this word. Abracadabra. Yes. It's a word that is used by the girl to perform magic. Okay. And here the here when as here I refers to the girl. Yes, here you can see a word in yellow color. Which, which is that? Yes, say. Yes, this line, that means abracadabra when I say, this line is about something that the girl says. This line is about something that the girl says. Thus, the verb say has been used. Yes, here you can see the verb say. And verb means an action word and this line is about something that the girl says. So the verb uh, say has been used here. Okay. Look at the left side of the screen. Here you can see a picture. What's wrote in that picture? Yes. Say and tell. Okay. Then the verbs. These are the examples of a verb. And the verbs say and tell have the same meaning. Here the verb say and tell have the same meaning but they are used in different situation here the verbs say, uh, say and tell have the same meaning but they are used in different situations the word tell is used when we want to specify to whom something is said the word tell the verb tell is used when we want to specify to whom something is said now let's check some examples first one Govin says that he loves ice cream. Yes, Govin says that he loves ice cream. Next one, Govin tells Dave that he loves ice cream. Yes, Govin tells Dave that he loves ice cream. Here the verb tell is used when we want to specify to whom something is said. If we want to specify to whom something is said, we use the verb tell. Okay. In the first sentence, we do not know who Govin told this to. Okay, in the first sentence, we do not know who Govin told this to. It is just something he said. Okay, then, so the word says has been used here. In the second sentence, that is, Govin tells Dave that he loves ice cream. In the second sentence, Govin told Dave about it. So, the word tells has been used. Yes, now let's check some more examples. Say versus tell. Yes, you say something to someone. For example, Helen said, I love you to her dad. Helen said, I love you to her dad. And here you can see said is used. Said is the past form of the verb say. Okay, next one. Raj says he has a new job. Raj says he has a new job. Okay, then Helen said, I love you to her dad. Here you can see said uh, and to is also used here. We can use said to when we uh, when the listener is mentioned. Okay, we can use uh, said to when the said when the listener is mentioned. Okay, yes. 
For example, he said to me that his mother was unwell. He said to me. Here the listener is mentioned. Okay, next one. You tell someone something. Yes. Helen told her dad that she loved him. Helen told her dad that she loved him. He, here, tell is a past form of the word told. Yes. Raj told me that he has a new job. I told Yuki that I was sorry. There are some exceptional cases. He told a joke. Then she tells good stories. Yes. If we want to talk about stories, we used tell. The verb tell. Okay. Then they told a lie. I always tell the truth. Yes. Similarly, there are other words which are similar in meaning but are used in different situations. Let's check. The words speak and talk. The words speak and talk have similar meanings but speak is used in more formal situations. Okay. Here the words speak and talk have similar meanings but speak is used in more formal situations. Talk is used in day to day conversations. Okay. Uh, here the, uh, the verb speak is used in more formal situations. Okay. Can you give me an example of a formal situation? Yes, if you uh, speak uh, to uh, of, uh, principal or office bearers, then these are the examples of formal situations. Okay, talk, the verb talk is used in day-to-day uh, -day conversations. For example, may I speak to the principal? Yes, it's a formal situation. Next one, Ria does not talk much. Ria does not talk much. It's an example of a day-to-day -day conversation. It's a part of a day-to-day -day conversation. Yes, now let's check more about this one. Speak and talk are often used in the changeably. However, there are some slight difference in use. Okay, then speak. I spoke at the conference. It's an example of a formal situation. Yes, speak often used when someone is speaking to a group of people. Yes, used with the languages. She speaks three languages. Okay, next one tends to be used in more formal situations. Here, the verb uh, speak is uh, used in more formal situation okay next one talk often talk often used with about when introducing subject of conversation and two when introducing the other person in the conversation okay for example jen talked to tim about her business plan jen talked to tim about her business plan next one talk often used to express informal conversation Yes, it's often used to express informal situation or uh, talk is used to day-to-day -day conversations. Yes, for example, I talk to my mom every day. Yes, now let's uh, do a certain activity related to this topic. Fill in the blanks with say, tell, speak and talk. First one, can you dash me the time? Yes, next one, Mira will dash on the topic a rainy day next one do not dash in the class next one the pen dash that he likes to play football okay what will be the answers let's check first one can you yes can you tell me the time here the verb tell is used okay next one mira will yes mira will speak on the topic a rainy day next one do not talk in the class Next one, the pen says that he likes to play football. Yes. Second activity, in the sentences, the words say, tell, speak and talk have been used incorrectly. Rewrite the sentences with the correct verbs. Here you have to rewrite the sentences with the correct verbs. Okay, first one. Manish said me that he was going to Uti. Second one, did you talk your prayers before you go to bed? Third one, the principal talked on the importance of being on time. Next one, you should never tell me in the library. Okay, here you have to rewrite the sentences with the correct verbs. What will be the answers? Look at the first one. Manish said me that he was going to Uti. Yes, here, tall. Tall is the correct verb yes manish told me that he was going to ot yes next one did you say yes did you say your prayers before you went to bed next one the principal 
spoke on the importance of being on time next one you should never talk in the library yes these are the answers of this activity okay now we are going to discuss the phonics junction yes look at the screen read this line from the poem can you read this line yes the rabbit gets a swollen nose here you can see a word in yellow color yes in the word nose the letter s is pronounced as z okay the rabbit gets a swollen nose yes here are some words in which s is pronounced as z let's check keys toss rice easel rose present daisy logs bees dessert susan miser cheese please ways place shells scissors desert music okay these here are some words in which s is pronounced as z okay here you have to underline the words in which the letter s makes the z sound now we are going to do a small activity here you have to underline the words in which the letter s makes the z sound okay first one Susan cooked rose flower rice for dinner last night. She also made cheese cake for dessert. She served them in plates shaped like shells. Okay, here you have to underline the words in which the letter S makes the Z sound. Next one, Susie loves art and craft. She bought a canvas, an easel, and poster paints from the craft shop. She first thought of painting a dessert. However, she changed her mind later and drew a field with beautiful daisy flowers okay here you have to underline the words in which the letter s makes the z sound okay let's check the answers first word susan yes next one rose next one cheesecake next one dessert next one shells yes next is susie next one loves next is easel dessert daisy okay these are the words in which the letter s makes the z sound okay. next activity listen to the words write the words in which s is pronounced as z yes here you have to write the words in which s is pronounced as z the words are claws best sleeps please reviews books spaces busy wise these okay Let's check the answer. Yes, clause, reviews, wise, bliss, busy, these. These are the words in which S is pronounced as is it. Yes, today we learn, uh, today we discuss some exercises related to the poem, My Magic Wand. I hope today's class is helpful to you. Wish you a good day. Thank you. Thank you.